We're delighted to welcome to the show Lloyd Coxon. How's it going? Hey, how are you, man, Chris? I'm okay, man. Yeah, very good. So what can you tell us about this event? It's happening very soon, isn't it? On the 21st this month. Of course, this is your 55th anniversary. Yeah, well, it's the first time I've ever kept anything like this for Coxon Sound, you know? 55th anniversary at the Electric in Dixon. And so far, I'm get, getting very nice response, you know? Like everything is going to be nice, man. Yeah, it definitely will be. So you came to London in 1962 and operated your own uh, Coxon sound system in London from 1965 to the 80s. Uh, what are your memories of that time? No, well, when I come to England, I play about three different sounds before I owned my, my own sound. I played Queen of the West was the first sound that I played on. And then I go to Barry Skyrocket that I played on. Then I build my own sound, Lights the Matador. And that song get mashed up in big fight. And then I go and play Drew Creed sound. And after Drew Creed sound, now 69, I build Sir Cox now to national. And here I am since that time until now. Yes, yeah, so who are some of your favorite sound systems of the past? Well, there's a lot of favorite sound systems, man. Sir Fonso, Duke Finn, Count Suckle, Safana B., you know what I mean? Joke Lee, you know, Count Steve, you know, um, Metro Downbeat. There's, there's a lot of sound system that I was inspired by, man, in here. And the list goes on and on, you know. I could, I could tell you about the next 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so many out there, isn't there? And, yeah. and for people who don't know about sound systems, can you, can you sum it up for them? Well, sound system... Is, is an entertaining centre, you know, that entertain people, you know. Especially um, for the, the West Indian people who come to England in the early 70s. They didn't have anywhere to go and um, socialise, you know. So when, when, the, when the sound system built, it was a sole entertainment for these people. People used to take the furniture out of the house and put it in the backyard. And then we string up sound system in two rooms for people to enjoy themselves, you know. So that was the sole inter entertainment for um, West Indian people in, in England, you know. And it's the rallying centre, you know. Yeah, and you're credited with paving the way for Lovers Rock by incorporating soul records in your sets. Uh, was you surprised when Lovers Rock came about, or not really? Yeah, well, what happened, I used to play into the Western in Carnaby Street in the Roaring Twenties. And um, in the Roaring Twenties... It is our sorted selection where we, we play a lot of American R and B mixed with our Jamaican reggae and, and that's the way it was, you know what I mean? It's a sorted selection. You couldn't play one thing, you had to play across the board, you know? And and that's the way the people used to love it in the West End. Yeah, and originally, yeah, it used to be um, American R and B, didn't it, before it moved on to ska and all the that's other types right. of uh, Jamaican that's music. Right. Even even into Jamaica, that's where Jamaica music coming from, you know, because, I mean, in the first 40s and 50s, people used to go to, to America to work and farm work. And when, when the workers get a day off or a weekend off, they would go to a bar or a restaurant and drink and then punch the jukebox. And so the tune that they were punching in the jukebox, those are the tune that they bought and take back to Jamaica to build their own sound system, and that's where the whole thing coming from. Because sound system is really originate from Kingston, Jamaica. That's where it originates from. Yeah, and there was a lot of rivalry, wasn't there, between the sound systems back then? That's right, just like what we have here in England, you know. When, when we string up with each other, everybody's trying to come out the best. So, you know, there is rivalry all the time, you know. And it, it's good for competition, you know, and it makes you... It makes you have to um, have your, your head on your body and you have to go out and work hard to make your sound the best, you see. Yeah, and I suppose, do you start off quite small and then it gets bigger and bigger? That's right, yeah. When I started off, I start really small sound, two, two bass box and one amplifier was playing mono those days, you know. And then as you go along, you build up playing a one and few dance and you're getting a little change and you're buying the next speaker, building the next box. 
saving up the money, getting the next amplifier until we come to stereo out of money, you know, and that's the way we build up. It, it's a timely thing, you know, unless you have a lot of money where you can go and do it one time. We didn't do that. We had to build up bit by bit, you know, because we didn't have that strong money to go and do it one time. Must kind of be more rewarding that way. It is, you know, when you get it together, building it, building it from a small stage until it comes to perfection, big stage till you can challenge the bigger boys. Yeah, it's, it's really rewarding, you know, really, really rewarding. So all these years later, are you surprised or not really? No, I'm not surprised, you know. I'm not really surprised because, I mean, it's it's something I love, you know. And once you love it and you put your heart into it and it comes out that way, you know, you, you just know it's a direction where you did want it to go, so it, it mature, you know. Yeah, and it, it's something you love. You're always going to do it, aren't you, regardless, to be honest? Yes, because, you know, I mean, I mean with the sound system, first time from 70s coming down, you know, we used to take people off the street, you understand, and carry them in one place so that we have a crowd of people in one place dancing for six, seven hours. So that means they couldn't be on the street doing any any mischief. They were dancing in one place, you know. So that's what we did, you know. Great. So this is on the 21st of this month. Winston Francis is going to be there, isn't he? Yes, Winston Francis is going to be there. Levi Roots is going to be there. Frank's chosen few, Licorai, you know, and some of the great sound system men, them, who is turning up to give me a little play, you know, as I appreciation sound like Quaker City from Birmingham, you know, and we have Saxon sound, and we have King Tubby's, you know, I Spy, most of the great sounds, you know, turning up to play a little tribute for me. And um, I'm grateful, you know, for that, you know. Wonderful work. It's been great speaking to you. Um, before you go, can you... This is going to be hard because you must have so many, but can you give us some of your favourite artists? Well, so most of my favourite artists are going to go to Bob Marley first, Dennis Brown, Gregory Isaacs, Freddie McGregor, Beris Amman, Bojo Bantan, Sizzler. You know, I can, I, can, I can go right on. Fred Lux, you know. Most of these guys are my favourite artists, you know. And you've stayed true to Roots Reggae, haven't you? I do, you know. Yeah, man, that's my thing, you know. I play roots, roots rock reggae. That's, that's my thing. And um, some of the culture stuff, you know. That's great, because in the 80s it sort of changed to dance hall, didn't it? Yes, I'm not much too much to the dance hall thing. The dance hall is a younger generation, you know. Yeah. Younger generation all on to the dance hall thing. So I can't complain because, I mean, young people like to do do it their thing a bit different from how we have it, you know? So what we do, we just appreciate them doing what they're doing and we continue to do what we what, what we we know we do best. And that's the road track reggae. That's great. And we, we're very glad that you do. Thanks a lot for joining us. Yes, man. Um, it's a pleasure, you know, and hope that your listener will come down to the electric and support me this coming Friday, you know? So... Nice speaking to you, and hope that we can do this some other time soon, you know? That'd be great. Thanks, Lloyd. Okay, much obliged. Have a good night, right? Global Beats presents Sir Lloydie Coxon's 55th anniversary, Uniting the Tribes. The history of UK sound systems on Friday the 21st of February at the Electric in Brixton. Sir Coxon International, Saxon, Abashanti, Mad Professor, Love Injection, Quaker City, Supertone, King Tubbies, Mafian Fluxy, JB Crew, I Spy and Frontline. With top PAs from Levi Roots, Little Roy, Winston Francis and more. And it's all compared by Mandingo. Tickets from all usual outlets or online from ticket web all information zero double seven nine zero one two three eight nine seven